In this tutorial, we will cover spatial enhancement of Landsat imagery in ArcMap 10. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. First, open a new map document in ArcMap. Add a clipped image using the spatial extent of the window that we used in Tutorial 13, the image that contained Roanoke, Blacksburg, and Smith Mountain Lake. Be sure this image contains all seven bands, so add the composite image from Tutorial 11 and reclip if you need to. Make sure your image analysis window is open. Go ahead and set it to a false color image, 432. We'll start by changing the resampling technique in the image analysis window. First we'll zoom in so we can get a better look at what's happening. Zoom in to the city of Roanoke. And again to the airport area. This drop down menu allows us to change the resampling method. Bilinear interpolation creates a smooth looking result. Cubic convolution creates a sharper looking image. In majority, the pixel is assigned the most common value within a specific filter window, smoothing the image. As with all operations from the image analysis window, we haven't created any new permanent datasets or changes. Set the image back to nearest neighbor before continuing. Close the image analysis window. Now we'll cover spatial enhancement using spatial analyst tools, which will create new datasets that we can add to the map. First, we need to activate Spatial Analyst. Go to the Customize menu, Extensions, and be sure Spatial Analyst is selected. Click OK. Now we want to add the Spatial Analyst toolbar. Right-click anywhere on the toolbars and select Spatial Analyst. We can access our Spatial Analyst tools from Arc Toolbox. Click on Arc Toolbox to open and expand the Spatial Analyst Toolbox. We will be using two different tools, Filter and Focal Statistics. These are both found under the Neighborhood sub-toolbox. Let's start with the Filter tool. Double-click to select it. Change your input raster to the clipped composite image we started with. Here we can change the output name of our raster. For filter type, there are two options, low path smooths and high pass enhances edges. We're going to perform both methods and compare them. I'm starting with the high pass. Once you have all your parameters set, click OK. Here you can see I've already completed both the low pass and the high pass filter options. To run the low pass, Simply go back to Arc Toolbox and select the same Filter tool again. When you name your new rasters in the Filter dialog, be sure there aren't any spaces. I've just renamed mine here in the Table of Contents for easier display. Now I can turn off the Low Pass Filter and view the High Pass Filter results for the same area underneath. 